Hi students, as a part of types of polymerization, today I am going to discuss the second type of uh, polymerization, which is after the, the first one, which was uh, addition or chain growth polymerization. So that second type of polymerization by which uh, the monomeric units can be converted into the polymer is the condensation or step growth polymerization. Condensation or step growth polymerization. Now let us see what exactly is the condensation or step growth polymerization. This polymerization involves the repeated combination of the monomeric units containing the polar groups or functional groups such as hydroxy, carboxy, methoxy, ethoxy, resulting in the formation of condensed polymer with the subsequent elimination of small molecules like water, methanol, ethanol, ammonia, etc. So this polymerization involves the repeated combination of the monomeric units containing the polar functional groups or polar groups such as hydroxy, methoxy, ethoxy, ethoxy, carboxy, etc., etc., resulting in the formation of condensed polymer with the elimination of small molecules like water. Methanol, ethanol, ethanol, ammonia, etc. So this is the definition of a condensation or step growth polymerization students. Now let us discuss the critical points associated with the, this condensation or step growth polymerization. So based upon the definition, it is very clear that the monomeric units containing the functional groups or polar groups such as hydroxy, methoxy, ethoxy, carboxy, carboxy group undergo the condensation or step growth polymerization. And based upon the definition only, we can say that during this particular condensation or step growth polymerization, the small molecules like water methanol, ethanol, ammonia, etc. takes place. So this is the second critical point associated with the condensation or step growth polymerization. Now coming to the third point, the third point is, this particular polymerization, that is condensation or step growth polymerization, results in the formation of thermosetting plastic. Thermosetting plastic is also called as thermoset. So based upon that, we can say that this particular polymerization results in the formation of thermosets. Thermosets. And already have explained about uh, what are thermosets during the classification of the polymers in the very first topic of uh, the polymers. In which I have explained the classification based upon all the criteria. Now, thermoset is a class of polymer which is based upon the heat treatment. So, based upon the heat treatment, the polymers have been classified into two types. So one is thermoplastic and the second one is thermosetting plastic. Now, it comes under the thermosetting plastic. Thermosetting plastic is nothing but the plastic which is resistant to heat. The plastic which is resistant to heat is nothing but the thermosetting plastic. Now, why this thermosetting plastic, why this thermosetting plastic is resistant to heat? This thermosetting plastic is resistant to heat because thermosetting plastic or thermosetting polymer is cross-linked polymer. And I have clearly explained while explaining the addition or chain growth polymerization or and I also explained in the classification of the polymers based upon the structure. 
So based upon the structure, the polymers have been classified into three types. The one is linear, branched, and cross-linked polymers. Among these three, linear, branched, and cross-linked polymers, cross-linked polymers are rigid and strong. Why the cross-linked polymers are rigid and strong? The cross-linked polymers are rigid and strong because of the presence of the cross-linkages between the adjacent monomeric chains. Due to the presence of cross-linkages between the adjacent monomeric chains in the cross-linked polymer, cross-linked polymer, the free movement of the monomeric units is being restricted. As the free movement of monomeric units is being restricted, Cross-linked polymers are rigid and strong in nature. Now, whatever the polymers which are going to be resulted by the condensation or step growth polymerization or the thermosetting plastics and thermosetting com plastics comes under the category of uh, the cross-linked polymers and as the cross-linked polymers are rigid and strong, Based upon this fact, we can say that whatever the plastics, whatever the polymers which are going to be formed during the condensation or step growth polymerization are strong and rigid in nature. Strong and rigid in nature. So these are the four critical points which are very important to understand the, the condensation or step growth polymerization. Now coming to examples, examples of the condensed polymers. Now whatever the polymers which are formed by the condensation polymerization or step growth polymerization or the condensed polymers. Now let us see what are the polymers which are being resulted by the condensation or step growth polymerization. The polymers which are resulted by the condensation or step growth polymerization includes includes nylon 66 nylon 66 polyester betalite and urea formaldehyde resin right so these are the examples of the condensed polymers uh, which are made which are produced which are manufactured which are prepared which are synthesized uh, by the condensation or step growth polymerization so what are the example students nylon 66 is one of the example so examples of condensed polymers which are formed by the condensation or step growth polymerization ingo involves Nylon 66 and this nylon 66 is also called as polyamide. Why it is also called as polyamide, I am going to discuss in the next immediate video after this particular video. And coming to the next example of the condensed polymer which is obtained by the condensation of step growth polymerization is polyester polyester and there are a wide range of names associated with the polyester and the question can be asked in any of the manner in any of the manner so since the question can be asked in any of the manner you should be well versed with all the names associated with the polyester so polyester is also called as terylin is also called as terylin Terlin, it is also called as Dacron or it is also called as Mylar or it is also called as Cronar or it is also called as Polyethylene Tertalate Polyethylene Tertalate Tertalate so these are the various names associated with the polyester and the question can be asked to give the preparation properties and the uses or applications of polyester or terylin or dacron or cronar or mylar or polyethylene tertalate. 
If the question can be asked in any of the manner, the answer is one hind seam. Anyhow, I'm going to discuss the synthesis of the polyester in the easiest manner after making the video on the synthesis or preparation of nylon 6 Another example is Bakelite. Bakelite is another familiar example of uh, the condensed polymer which is being formed by the condensation or step growth polymerization. Bakelite is also called as phenol formaldehyde phenol formaldehyde resin. Another example of the condensed polymer which is being formed by the condensation or step growth polymerization includes uh, urea formaldehyde resin. Urea formaldehyde resin. I etc. Now these are the examples of the condensed polymers which are being obtained uh, by the condensation or step growth polymerization students. The one is nylon 66. It is also called as polyamide. And the second one is polyester. It is also called as sterling or dacron or crona or mylar or polyethylene tertalate. Bakelite. It is also called as uh, phenol formaldehyde resin. Next, urea formaldehyde resin, etc. So these are the examples of the condensed polymers which are being formed by the condensation or step growth polymerization. I hope you understood this video students. So in the next video, I am going to discuss about the preparation or synthesis of nylon 66 or polyamide in the very easiest manner. I am damn sure that after watching that video, there won't be any ambiguity while writing the reaction involved in the synthesis or preparation of nylon 66 or polyamide. So thanks for watching this video students. Thank you.